Hey, I wonder if this mic works in this setting. I was just playing around with my Zoom client, um, and my neighbor just knocked on the door uh, and, and said to me, "Hey, uh, I can't. I have some tickets uh, for Chicago. I can't. I can't make it uh, tonight. Would you guys like like to go?" And I was kind of excited. I'm like, "Oh, I love that musical." And she's like, "No, not not the musical. Um, the band." <laughs> I was like, you mean from the 70s? And she's like, yeah, the Chicago from the 70s. And I was like, wow, I actually had to ask Alexa, hey, play some Chicago songs. I was an avid music listener when I was four, five, six years old when, when Chicago was at the height of their stardom. So I didn't say I, was, I wasn't very familiar with what Chicago uh, uh, produced and sang. So. Uh, hey, we're going to Chicago concert tonight. If you get anybody's at PNC Pavilion and wants to drop by and say hi, uh, Stephanie and I will be there, my wife, and she doesn't really know who Chicago is either. <laughs> but I did see on the tickets that Chicago with lead singer Rick Springfield. Now I can get behind some Jesse's girl right there, right? That's dating me a little bit too, but I know Rick Springfield. I know what he's like. Not that I watch General Hospitals, but I believe he was a star on there as well. Um, so hey, anyway, Hey, we have plans on a, on a Tuesday night. The whole point of this video is nothing to do with Chicago and Rick Springfield, as you know. Uh, it is to do with Zoom Rooms pairing. A new feature that just came out, uh, I believe it was last week, it, it, the blog on the bottom here, talks about pairing a Zoom room with your Zoom client, either desktop or mobile. And what that allows you to do is then choose where to start the meeting from. So if you have a Zoom room appliance at your house, which I do, or you have a Zoom... Uh, for home appliance, right? You can uh, you can pair those with your client and then start meetings from those things. So let's do a quick example. I have a Zoom room on the right side. You can't really see it. Just trust me, it's over there. Um, it's called Conferencing Room Baker. And Conferencing Room Baker right here is the Zoom room pairing button. Now, it should be on your client if you updated the client. If you don't know how to update the client, watch the video on how to do it. I can now click this button and it will automatically detect the Zoom room next to me and then pair my client with it. Watch this. We're gonna detect the Zoom room and now we're gonna pair my Zoom client. My computer is now paired with Conferencing Room Baker. What that allows me to do is when I start a new meeting, watch this. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna start that meeting from the room and then I'm gonna fire up all the cameras, the speakers and the microphones in my Zoom room or do I wanna start it from my computer which fires up the mic and the camera here. So now I have a choice. What if you, why would you do this? A couple of reasons. What if you have a Zoom for home appliance and you want to start your meetings from there? You can do it this way. What if you go back into the office and there's a conferencing room that you like to use all the time and you want to start your meetings from that conference room all the time? You can literally walk in and start your meetings ad hoc right from, right from the Zoom room. Super cool feature, Zoom pairing. Give it a shot.